Hey everybody, it's Mandy from Mandy Jean Chic. I wanted to film a get ready with me video this morning. Um, it is Saturday and we have some running around to do. We've had like some serious rain here in New Mexico lately and it's like caused some pretty severe flooding. So, kind of a funny story. It went, as you can tell my allergies are just like crazy right now. But I am feeling better. It just seems like every... Like, at least once a month, I've had, like, pretty bad allergies, so hopefully I changed my allergy med, so I'm kind of hoping maybe that helps a little bit, but I'm still kind of feeling, I like, I sound more nasally and I sound worse than I feel. You ever get that? But, um, yesterday I scheduled an appointment at Ulta to have my hair cut and dyed since they're having that 21-day sale, which, if you go to Ulta... I don't know if it's on here or not. Oh, it's not on here. But they're having, I think it's like 20 or 25% off their colors. So I literally got a cut and two colors for 100 bucks. Yeah, I was like so stoked about that. That's here in New Mexico. I'm sure like prices vary. But um, I've never been to Ulta to get my hair cut before, ever. So I was like, well, you know, I want to try something new. Um, I wanted to get rid of the blonde ombre because I was just done with it. And... I was, my intention was not to keep ombre at all. Uh, I was just going to go simple for fall, easy maintenance type thing. And I met with a gal, she's so funny, her name was Lonnie. She's a, she's from Michigan, she's a Detroit Red Wings fan, so I'm like, oh, I have found my people. So I was really kind of stoked about that. So she gave me one of my, my favorite haircuts I think I've ever had. And when we were talking, she's like, well, why don't you do like a subtle ombre? She's like, that would be kind of cool. So I'm like... Okay, you know, and she did, and I really like it. Um, if you're interested in these two colors, I can contact her and find out what color she used. I didn't think to ask her when we were doing the the dye because we were talking hockey. <laughs> Imagine that. But I do have um, more layers, shorter layers, which I like in the fall because it's easier. Because my hair is naturally wavy, so it's just sometimes that can be kind of a hassle especially when we get rain so we get rain my hair goes pfft, it's like huge but um she did end up doing two colors she did darker and then it just fades to like a lighter almost like almost like kind of a brown burgundy and at first when she lifted the hair to cut it I was like holy crap that is red and I love red hair I love red hair on other people not on me so I was like oh crap and when she dried it, it was fine. Um, I actually really like it. I've gotten so many compliments on it. So I'm really happy. So if you've never been to Ulta, I suggest going to the Ulta Salon because I had a wonderful experience there. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for it with my money. I'm just very happy. So if I'm happy, I want to try to make you guys happy. Uh, this is something else I'm just trying to get used up. I like it. Uh, I will not repurchase it because of the price. It is kind of pricey. This is the Young Blood Mineral Primer. It's silicone. So it feels super smooth. There are, in my opinion, just as good primers that are cheaper. And I've never really used a lot of young blood makeup. So I didn't really have an opinion on it. But I mean it's okay. It's just a silicone primer. It says paraben free, cruelty free. It's nice. But it's not something that I would repurchase. I'm just trying to get it used up. And I'm so close, if you can see the little. I am... <clears throat> this is my last day of wearing this foundation for testing it this week. So I'm going to do a review after I probably film this video of it. So far, I, I'm really, really... Stay here. Really, really liking it. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, this color is in Buff Beige. See, as you can tell, it's like a little dark. And it's even a little yellowy, but it's like... But when I blend everything together, it's actually fine. And it helps to match my neck a little bit better. I'm so funny. I'm like multicolored right now. So just to blend that in, I use my Sigma F80. Which is a flat top kabuki. new product for me so this is kind of a 
first impression. I've I actually it's not really like a true first impression because I have used it once, but it's the Benefit Fake Up. I love this concealer. It has like the color in the middle. As you can see, it's just so moisturizing. If you are, if you have dry under eyes like I do, or you're a little bit older like I am, this is will be like a godsend for you. It stays creamy. It's just awesome. I really like this. This color is in light. See how it's just super, super, super creamy. And I just use my fingers just to blend it in. I don't think like the coverage is super, super. Um, I definitely think it's a little bit of a lighter coverage concealer, but it's just it's it's just really nice. I mean, I really, really, really like it. I'm gonna go into my eyes. I kind of do things like how I feel like doing them. I no real rhyme or reason. I know it looks like this is super more highlighted than this side, at least in my viewfinder it does. But it's just because of the light, because my window is like right here, and the light's coming across. So, trust me, I wouldn't go out the ho go out of the house like this <laughs> if it looks like that. But it doesn't. It's just so creamy. I love that stuff. I'm gonna just take one of my Mac palettes and just use soft brown and pop that in my crease. Um, I am going to use one of my new paint pots. So, but I do like a little bit of definition in my crease because I do have smaller, smaller eyes. So it's pretty funny at work yesterday. I was emailing uh, some of my friends that work at... LPL's back off or at my back office in San Diego and one of my friends she's hysterical she's like she's just she's so funny it had emailed me and I didn't look at who was um like who all she emailed the joke to so not even thinking about it I just replied back I'm like yeah I have a hair appointment but we have like some pretty serious flooding going on so I'm trying to decide if my hair appointment is worth risking my life for you know as a joke I really wouldn't do that but it could but it really wasn't that bad and apparently and I didn't know this when I looked at it because I just glanced um she sent the email to the two boys that I'm pretty good friends with who we always joke around a lot and stuff like that and give each other a hard time I mean it's cool not no harm no foul but, and I sent that to them, too. So, you know, a boy getting that email, they're like, what? So, Ryan replied back with something. And then Dan replied back with something. And Rosie replied back with, hairspray fixes everything, don't worry about it. And, <laughs> and Ryan replied back with, what about if there's a fire? And Rosie replied back, are you not paying attention, Ryan? It's a freaking flood. Oh, it was so funny. It was hysterical. And, like, I'm getting ready to leave for my hair appointment, and I'm getting these emails. It was just so funny. I'm so thankful for people. Oh, here I am just, like, doing my makeup and not telling you guys what I'm doing. I'm using my new MAC Paint Pot in Antique Diamond. Love this. It's, like, a silvery green color beautiful and what I'm doing is I'm just packing that in on my lid first and then what I'll do is I'll just gently with what's ever left on my brush I'm just using an elf eyeshadow brush and kind of blend it into the soft brown. Oh, 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 I might be getting another bloodhound. I um, <clears throat> have been wanting a female bloodhound to show for like ever. And I contacted a breeder who is friends of one of my good friends of bloodhounds. So it's her bloodhound's half sister. 
And she sent me a picture of her. She's like six months old. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. So she's taking her to the Nationals like next weekend. And is going to show her and man trail test her to see if she, something that she would want to do. And then we might co-own her. So I might be getting a second hound. <clears throat> which will be cool because this one I can show and do man trailing with because you guys know Hank no mm -mm. Hank does not do anything that is not required of Hank and man trailing is not required of Hank he's like no not doing it mom really 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 want to get into man trailing because we had a firefighter I'm not sure like if you guys watch a lot of national news but we had a firefighter that went missing in the Hamas mountains and I still don't know like all the nitty gritty details on it but he was found dead um, I heard it was an ATV accident, but I, I don't know. But, like, my thinking was, you know, gosh, if I could have had a hound that did man trailing, I could have went up there with him or her, and, you know, you don't, you never know what happens. So, it's just, like, always in the back of my mind. So, that's kind of why I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a fluffy bl blending brush and just blend just the edges. It's just soft brown shadow and max antique diamond paint pot this is if you are looking for a cool paint pot and a cool color for fall oh this is really nice I, I really 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 like it I like it a lot I'm also using another new product and you probably saw it in my Mac and Ulta haul here I don't know when but I think I'm gonna post it before I post this this is the NYX I sh are the <laughs> this is a NYX eye pencil in Emerald City. And I actually just got it. I got it specifically for this look. These are not the creamiest pencils, but they but they go on smooth, if that makes sense. Okay, then that is my finish in lined eye. I think one thing I want to do, though, is I do want to smudge it out just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. Ta-da! And I'm going to go ahead and bronze and... I'm going to bronze and then put my face powder on. I'm not going to do any blush because I want kind of a bronzier neutral look. So what I'm using is my dual fiber brush from Real Techniques and just Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. Just kind of bronzing up a little bit. Is once I get my bronzer on, then I go back in with whatever brush I use for my foundation and just buff everything in. And mascara and lips, and then we're done. Using the CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara, I'm giving this another try. Now, the lip color I chose to use is Max Feed the Senses. This is a beautiful nude. It's really kind of a dreary day outside, so I wanted something really neutral. This is a luster, so it feels like heaven on the lips. But, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't powder my face. Oops, so I'm using my NARS face powder that I'm like obsessed with. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just pop this around my T-zone. Just 
just to keep from getting oily. Because sometimes I can't get oily in my T zone. And this stuff just gives you like a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful finish. I love this face powder. This is probably one of my favorite setting powders ever. Seriously, it's so awesome. It's it's worth it's worth the thirty six dollars. I think so it was totally worth it. I'd buy it again and again and again. Love it. On top of my lipstick, I'm going to use Eva Glam Five just because I want a little bit of gloss in the middle. And this is how I'm going to wear my makeup today. I did I do everything? I did. So I'm loving my new fall hair. So I'm loving my new fall hair. I really like the color, so I kind of wanted to do like a fall makeup look today. God, I just, I so love my hair. I, I love the ombre, I love the color, I love the cut. I love the fact that she blew it out and now it looks good for two days. <laughs> but if you enjoy my Get Ready With Me videos or have any questions about the products that I use, leave me a comment below. If you liked the video, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!